Have you ever wondered how the lights in your house work, or how your phone charges? It all comes down to circuits. Circuits are like paths that electricity follows. They're in all sorts of things, from tiny toys to giant spaceships. Circuit diagrams are like maps for electricity. They show us how all the different parts of a circuit are connected. These diagrams are important because they help us understand how circuits work, and how to build new ones. Imagine trying to build a model airplane without instructions. That's what it would be like trying to build a circuit without a diagram. Circuit diagrams use special symbols to represent different components, like batteries and bulbs. These symbols are like a universal language that electricians and hobbyists all over the world understand. Circuit diagrams use symbols to represent different electrical components. These symbols are simple shapes and lines that make it easy to draw and understand complex circuits. Think of it like learning a new alphabet. Once you know the symbols, you can read any circuit diagram. These symbols are universal, which means they mean the same thing no matter where you are in the world. This is important because it allows people from different countries to share their ideas and work together on electrical projects. Without symbols, circuit diagrams would be confusing and hard to read. It would be like trying to read a book written in a language you don't understand. Let's learn about some common circuit components and their symbols. These are the building blocks of almost every electrical device you can imagine. First up, we have the battery. The battery is like the heart of a circuit. It provides the energy that makes everything work. The symbol for a battery looks like two lines, one longer than the other. The longer line represents the positive terminal, and the shorter line represents the negative terminal. Next, we have the switch. The switch is like a door that can open and close the circuit. When the switch is closed, electricity can flow. When it's open, the circuit is broken, and electricity cannot flow. The symbol for a switch looks like a line with a gap in it. Then we have the wire. Wires are like the roads that electricity travels on. They connect all the different components together. The symbol for a wire is simply a straight line. Finally, we have the light bulb. The light bulb is a device that converts electrical energy into light. It's a great way to see if your circuit is working. The symbol for a light bulb looks like a circle with a cross in it. There are two basic types of circuits, series circuits and parallel circuits. In a series circuit, electricity flows in a single path. Imagine a one-lane road. Cars can only travel in one direction. If we connect a battery, a switch, and a light bulb in a series circuit and close the switch, electricity flows from the battery, through the switch, through the light bulb, and back to the battery. A good example of a series circuit is a string of old-fashioned Christmas lights. If one bulb goes out, the entire string goes dark because the circuit is broken. Series circuits are simple to build, but they have limitations. If one component fails, the entire circuit stops working. Section 5. Parallel Circuits. Multiple Paths to Explore. In a parallel circuit, electricity has multiple paths it can take. Think of a city with many different roads. Cars can choose different routes to get to their destination. If we connect a battery, a switch, and two light bulbs in a parallel circuit, each light bulb has its own separate path to the battery. If one bulb burns out, the other bulb will stay lit because the circuit is not broken. Parallel circuits are used in most homes and buildings. This ensures that if one light bulb goes out, the rest of the lights stay on. Parallel circuits are a bit more complex than series circuits, but they are much more reliable and versatile. Section 6. Voltage. The driving force of electricity. Voltage is the force that pushes electricity through a circuit. It's like the pressure in a water pipe. The higher the voltage, the stronger the push. Voltage is measured in volts. A typical battery in your home might be 1.5 volts, while the electricity coming out of your wall socket is a much higher voltage, usually around 120 volts. When we connect a battery to a circuit, the voltage pushes the electricity through the wires and components. The amount of current that flows depends on the voltage and the resistance of the circuit. Understanding voltage is important for building safe and effective circuits. Using the wrong voltage can damage your components or even be dangerous. Section 7. Building Your Own Parallel Circuit. A hands-on experiment. Ready to try building your own parallel circuit? It's easy and fun. Here's what you'll need. A battery, a D-cell battery works well, a battery holder, two light bulbs, two light bulb holders, a switch, insulated wires, and wire strippers for stripping the insulation off the ends of the wires. 
First, strip a small amount of insulation off the ends of your wires using the wire strippers. Then, connect the positive terminal of the battery holder to one side of the switch using a wire. Connect the other side of the switch to one side of each of the light bulb holders using separate wires. Finally, connect the other side of each light bulb holder to the negative terminal of the battery holder using separate wires. Now, insert the battery into the battery holder and flip the switch. Voila! Your light bulbs should light up. This is a simple parallel circuit. If you unscrew one of the light bulbs, the other one will stay lit. Section 8. Safety First. Handling Electricity with Care. Remember, electricity can be dangerous if not handled properly. Always follow these safety tips when working with circuits. Never experiment with electricity from wall sockets. It's much higher voltage than batteries and can be very dangerous. Always use insulated wires and tools. Never touch bare wires when a circuit is connected to a power source. Be careful not to short-circuit your batteries. This can cause them to overheat and even explode. By following these safety precautions, you can enjoy exploring the world of electronics without putting yourself at risk. Section 9. Conclusion, keep exploring the world of circuits. Congratulations, you've learned the basics of circuit diagrams, components, and how to build a simple parallel circuit. Now you can see these electrical pathways everywhere you look. Remember, circuits are the backbone of our modern world. Keep exploring, experimenting, and never stop learning about the amazing world of electricity. Who knows, maybe one day, you'll design the next great electrical invention.